Peace, peace, what to do? Today is January the 11th, 111. That's uh, what, three, five, eight, it's an eight day. Eight day. Eight days are like, um, supposed to be, um, like a plentiful. You know, the number eight is the infinity sign. I'm not, I'm not as, um, as a steward with numerology as I am with astrology, I would, I, I suppose, but at the end of the day, it's really the same things. Just, um, you talking um late latent energies versus active energies you know numerology would be the latent energies the energies that's always there always like in the background if you will and then the um astrological energies will be the more active forces that's always changing always you know you always have to stay on top of it but you know the numerology is pretty um uh straightforward if you will, you know, ones are active, twos are, you know, um, introspective, threes are chatty, talkative, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's the same as, uh, here I go with the you know shit, it's the same as, um, it's the same as astrology, the ones correspond with Aries, and not, like I say, it's, it's different types of energies, you understand what I'm saying, but it's the same, it's the same metaphysical studies, you know, it's just different, different ways of going, going about the same things in a sense. Um, because at the end of the day, all you're talking about is electromagnetism. That's all we're talking about here. And that's the, I would say that's one of the biggest secrets is that really the, the idea of astrology has been, and, and just spirituality in general has just been given to the masses in such a mysterious, mystic, in spiritual way that we can't that the most of us don't look can't look at it practically and just with common sense and like how would this like what the hell does saturn you know what thousands or millions of miles away i don't know what it is technically oh <laughs> technically i don't know what it is how many miles you know thousands thousands hundreds of thousands of miles away excuse me right how the hell does that affect me, right? That makes no sense. When I was studying this, I was like really trying to understand what the hell a planet a million miles away from me or a sun 93 million miles away from me has to do with me, okay? And essentially, it has absolutely nothing to do with you. All right, that the, the sky is a clock and all it is doing is telling you where the energies are within you it's as within so without these energies are not some mystical force of that glows that you have to you know go on some kind of quest and find some kind of amulet to unlock or some crazy shit it's not there's none of that it's electromagnetism all you have to do is google a th what is a th what is thinking like literally, Google, what is thinking? Thinking, okay? Like if I can get you all thinking again, you'll save yourselves. Okay, what is thinking? Thinking is neurons firing within your brain. Neurons, neurons, okay? They're processing electricity, okay? So you are an electromagnetic being. Thinking is an electronic process. This is what we don't understand about ourselves. The, the human body, the brain is the matrix. The human body is a computer. It's a well-designed computer. Okay? That's why we didn't evolve from shit, but I'm not trying to go there. Okay? But understand what I'm saying? You are a sophisticated being, and these people know that, okay? Only people that don't know that is the people, okay? Electricity and magnetism controls this world. That is energy. That, that's what everything is. Everything is based off of it. Everything come from, comes from it. There is nothing else, okay? Astrology is nothing but the study of that electromagnetic cycle these signs are nothing 
but names attributed to cycles. That's it. Because us as a people, the original people on these planet has been here so long, we've wrote down and cataloged the cycles. And you know them as Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Council. You understand what I'm saying? Essentially what we're saying is during this time of year, people start acting like this. Um, you, you know, like when we say when it's summertime, right? As, okay, let's talk about as black men. So-called, so-called, you know what it is. We moors. We know when it start getting warm out, these women finna be out here with these with some revealing clothes on. You understand what I'm saying? And we know it's going to be a time where it's going to be, you know, for, like, married men. It's going to be a time where women going to be trying to more out, more, you know what I'm saying, trying to holler at you type thing. For the single men, they, they rubbing their hands together because they ready. You understand know what I'm saying? Like, I got a lot of, I got single partners. But, you know, but the, the idea is that during the, during the summertime, human beings get get more looser, if you will. Want to get out, want to party, want to blah, 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 blah. You know, that's general. We attribute, obviously, we attribute that to the weather. It's warm outside, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it's, but what that is is energies. That's the Leo season when somebody wants to shine. They want to show off them. They want to show themselves the, or the Virgo season. They want to show, you know, their earthly possessions. You know, how they, they're, they're all, they are technical and smart enough to coordinate it, i.e. Virgo. Or Libra want to shine. You, I mean, want to, um, you know what I'm saying? Want to show off, want to beautify things, things of that nature. This is These are general applications to seasons. This stuff has nothing to do with planets. All right? Absolutely nothing to do with planets. I mean, those things in the sky, those lights, do not affect you. Do not be looking up at the moon like, oh, oh, that's moving me. No. The moon is inside of you. Okay, you have an electromagnetic pulse inside of you that resonates directly with the moon that you see in the sky. You understand? It's as within, so without. You are the earth as man, wombed man, the woman. You are the earth. You, okay so i done went off into some more i mean i you know the moon it's in it's in the the moon is is in um capricorn and the sun is in capricorn the sun is at 21 degrees cap so that's the virgo sub sign so what i do i went in went in tech, a little bit technical right um the new moon is actually gonna be on the 13th at 12 o'clock so just FYI, but the new but moon is in count is in Capricorn right now though, so that energy is heavy. Mercury five degrees Aquarius, so Venus three degrees Cap. Oh, so the moon is trining Venus right now. Okay, um, not trining transit. How we say trining? I mean when I mean to say transiting, forgive me. And which is trining <laughs> Mars as I've been as I said the other day. Uh, Jupiter and Saturn is of course tra uh, transiting each other right next to each other. Jupiter's finally five degrees, so it's the Aries do I FYI on that Saturn has switched over already. It's Pisces do I we already know nothing else major happening with Saturn for the rest of this month till 29th. Um, with none of these far out planets except what is this Pluto. Pluto later on this month gonna switch duos wise and you may we may notice uh you may notice a shift in that. Remember I always say when these outer planets what's more more so important is uh the dis a specific degree and what house it corresponds to in your chart. All right. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Hope I I hope I explain some stuff. Mm. We're gonna finish and um we're gonna keep going tomorrow. Till tomorrow. Peace and love.